2020, I tell you what, it is a year that none of us expected. But I tell you what, looking back on some of the footage of the stuff I've done this year, I definitely think we made the most of it. Of course, the biggest change that happened this year was moving in to Build Not Bought HQ. Had all the poster room properly. Ah, oh, no, oh. Okay, if we're gonna get into it, there were a few breakages, I'm not gonna lie, with the patrol, um, a couple of gearbox issues, and uh, you just have a look at the rest. Where's that? Oh, yeah. We're gonna walk With the standard tune there, okay, how do we go? this is going to be a 24 hour build. The safety thing, roof rack, obviously. Yes, of course, the 80 series. I can't believe it. After three years of calling myself a full drive nut, uh, I finally bought myself a Toyota. So the 80 series joined the channel, started off with the budget build, and um, not soon after, well, next year, early next year, we're going to be doing the next build on it. But man, you guys were frothing this stuff. Pretty much mounted wherever you want. Nice. Ford Ranger in the door, not Ford working. Yeah, so we had a good chat with Dan, something to drink, something to drink. Yeah, look, I was warned about the mud here in Queensland. We've done heaps of trips out to Glasshouse, Cruiser Park, had a great time there for driving. And also, I'm quite amazed that this year, I've pretty much done most of the islands. We, we headed out to Fraser Island, with Thumber Creek with TJ. Um, we went out to Morton Island. We did a trip to Stradbroke. So, damn, there's a lot here to see, and we sure did a lot throughout the year. D throughout the year. <laughs> oh! It's like the blind lead in the blind over here. What are you looking at, Danny? <laughs> Another great thing about moving to Queensland was the ability to work with a lot of the other businesses and companies and collaborations with people, even if I have to fix their car for them. The problem with all of this They need a small pinch of bog, there's a few pinholes in that. Get it in the gun, lay on probably two or three coats of car to make sure it covers well. Go back and get that orange peel out. You're pretty much taking one of those clear coats. Well, that's it. Well, I hope so anyway. He got me because apparently I knew what I was doing. But... I've actually got shoes on today, it's amazing. Oh my God. Oh, 
completely changed the design of this bar rather than having these ugly welds bulging everywhere. More since I was down at it. Now it's not an actual flat pattern. And for a long time, I've been wanting to change the look of this truck and we're starting off with that custom bull bar. True build, not bought fashion, done the whole thing by hand. But before we put that bar on, it was time to have one last hurrah and go for a real bash in the bush. Who goes first? Go! Guys, we uh, camped here last night now. You gotta be. Well, that was a CV about to happen. Super sketchy little tight section, but it just kit. That lower control arm is longer, giving it, I guess, a fully adjustable remote resis as well. So. Too hot. And then pretty much cleaned up and get it ready to paint. So it hasn't been too much of a Well, hang on a sec. We're seeing a whole lot more work being done on the patrol, but well, what happened to the 80 series? Oh, let me tell you what happened. It blew up. I tell you what, they're just very, very unreliable four wheel drives. 80 series blew up this morning. Oh! I feel like that's just chewing the flower with the man of the hour, all the sort of things you can't pick up from on a flat image. A little bit of the process and the different equipment that they use to get this thing sitting nice. Once we've pretty much got to tear this car apart, we've already pretty much forever after until it's headed up. Well, there we go, guys. An absolutely incredible year, if you ask me. And I want to thank each and every one of you for supporting the channel throughout the move over here to Queensland and dealing with me, plugging the merch all the time, because that's what keeps the channel going. But hopefully next year, once COVID's cleared out, we can start running all the events again. You guys can come down and catch us in all the states we run to. We're going to be back and doing the show your dirt stuff, a heap more trips, and I've got a few special things that we're going to be doing, pretty much giving back to the community next year. So. Get real excited for another year, 2021, here we come. But for now, hope you guys have a happy and safe Christmas and we'll see you guys in the new year. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget guys, over at CTO Industries website, they've got that special going where you can save a bunch of money on some selected items using the code BNBCTO. Go on, squeeze in another present. It's almost Christmas.